Bam, let's go, Bourbon Quest. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. So, ah, what do we got for you tonight? Well, we just did the whole lineup of 1792. Um, and so tonight, what I, another bottle I've not reviewed before is the Knob Creek uh, Smoked Maple. So, I've heard a lot of good things about the Smoked Maple. It's, it's 90 proof. It's obviously maple finished. I'm usually not a big fan of uh, flavored or finished whiskeys, but like I said, I've heard a lot of good things on this, so we thought we'd give it a crack and we can get the fucker open. Uh, uh, let's see here. Maybe it's Knob Creek wax seals oh, let's see if i can go grab a tool because the struggle is real yo all right let's see all right got a tool let's see if we can get into the smoke maple because i haven't seen it around a lot and then i i've had this bottle i i know for well over a year and uh but then i started seeing it like at my local big box store probably haven't had it in a year and then now they got like three cases of it so figured we'd review it to see if i might want to pick up another one my my thoughts are not high on this just because i'm not a big flavored or finished whiskey guy jesus christ knob creek why do you make things so damn difficult wax it to where you can't get into the whiskey. Jesus. Come on, man. Maybe, I, maybe I've got to go in there. I mean, good Lord. It takes a damn surgeon to get into this. Ugh. Are you kidding me? It's a great thing about live TV. What the fuck? I about broke my tool. Damn, cork pot. All right, so this is the uh, Knob Creek Smoked Maple. I mean, it sounds delicious. Maybe I will like it. Oh, it's a fresh cork pot, so we pour this into the uh, infinity barrel. There we go. All right. Whew. I hope it's good after that hard work of getting it open. Mm. Oh, yeah, you did. You get that maple brown sugar a little bit of cinnamon vanilla but yeah tons of maple and bacon brown sugar mm. i mean it's delicious on the nose cheers my friends mm. oh mm. wow that's delicious I'm going to have to say I, I will pick up another bottle of that. I mean, I don't even know what the price is on it. 35 to 45 maybe? But that's, yeah, brown sugar, maple. I mean, that is a perfect breakfast whiskey. I mean, you, you fry you up some eggs, some hash browns, some country ham, and some brown-eyed gravy with this uh, Knob Creek. Ma was it maple? Smoked maple. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Man. I, I did not have high hopes for this. But like I said, I heard a lot of great things on it. And it's... Mm, this might be my favorite flavored whiskey of all time. 
I mean, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do an episode. I don't know. It might be two to four months from now, or sooner. But I'm gonna do my top five flavored whiskeys, and this is gonna be competing for number one. Now, there's this. I like Jack Honey, um, Crown Peach. What other flavored whiskeys do I like? Yeah, we're not doing no screwball peanut butter bullshit. Mmm. Mmm. Man. For not being a, uh, a flavored whiskey or finished whiskey fan, that is... That is spectacular. I want to go cook some breakfast right now with some... You know, over medium eggs and hash browns and uh, maple bacon along with this smoked Knob Creek maple. This is delicious. I mean, this is a, this is the perfect wake up, let's start drinking with breakfast. I mean, this would, oh, this is delicious. I was surprised. Mm. It's kind of getting late in the day. I thought about going up against some of the uh like a knob creek store pick or their um, nine-year-old single barrel but hell no we're not even gonna crack those other two we're just gonna enjoy this because this is way exceeded my expectations oh i will definitely be picking up another bottle of that that's on the permanent list and then we'll do we'll do a video of top five flavored whiskeys what are your what are your top five flavored whiskeys or bourbons up this is going to be competing for number one i do love jack honey i do love crown peach what else oh probably crown salted caramel it's pretty damn good um mm. And I, I mean, I've, I, I used to really love this before I really started my bourbon quest. I did love those uh, screwball peanut butter whiskeys, but yeah, probably not as much now. But this is freaking fantastic. Go get you a Knob Creek smoked maple. This is amazing. Mm. What did I say the proof was on it? Oh, 90 proof? Even better. I mean, a flavored whiskey above 80 proof? That's... Oh. The next day I have off, I'm, I'm cooking up some fried eggs and hash browns and country ham and... Uh, uh, what did I say? Yeah, some maple bacon along with some uh, brown eyed gravy and biscuits. <laughs> oh, that sounds freaking delicious. Let me know what you think, Bourbon Quest. I mean, again, this is shocking to me because I was not, I did not have high expectations of this, but this is delicious. If you've had the Knob Creek smoked maple, let me know what you think. Are you a fan? I'm a fan. This is my, right now, I'm thinking this is my favorite flavored whiskey of all time. Was not expecting that. Mm. Cheers, my friends. Hey, if you haven't already done so, now's the time to go ahead and hit that smash uh, like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button. That does the channel a favor. And then ring those bells for notifications. That way you don't miss a damn thing here on Bourbon Quest. Whether it's William Larue Weller or Knob Creek Smoke Babel. They all have a place in my heart. Hell yeah. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm in love. Mm. Oh, damn, that's good. All right, I got to go. It's late. I'm glad I got this video out. And remember, as always, that my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. Hey, I just realized today um, when I was looking at the channel, uh, prior to this video, we had five or no 400 
and 89 videos. So this makes 490. So more than likely before the end of this month, we'll be doing a 500th episode celebration. And I'm thinking for that, we're going to bring out, and it's going to be hard, but we're going to do for our 500th episode celebration, we're going to be doing my top five whiskeys of all time that I've had. <laughs> so I can't wait. That's going to be hard. I think there's going to be one or two that are on the fringe or left out that it's going to be unfortunate. I, I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to taste my top five all at once because you know those are special bottles I, that I don't drink on often and oh I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to keep it a secret so that way you'll tune in and see my top five bourbons of all time here on Bourbon Quest. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey thanks for tuning in thanks for watching go pick you up a smoked maple Nah, Creek. Hell yeah. Thanks, Jimmy and Eddie Russell. Love you guys. All right, that's a wrap. We got to go. And remember, as always, my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. Hell, this is one of mine that came true tonight. I didn't know. I was not expecting that. That's a delicious. I'm pouring another more. Then go. All right, that's it for tonight. Stay tuned, Bourbon Quest. Love you. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for ringing that bell. Leave that comment. And we'll be back again real soon. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a wrap, yo.